Hi, my name is Ursula and I'm with Tipsy Totes. This is my partner in wine, Sonia. And we're here with week two of our wine making process. Um, we're actually going to put it in the barrel today, so we'll be back in a minute. So, we just go like this. Oh, so real soft. Don't go all the way down to the bottom. Okay. And just continue that all the way around. Okay, so yep. how often, how... So every skin is gone underneath. There you go. So every skin is gone? Yep. How do you know when it's gone? You'll know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, your boss. Did you see the video? You can already smell the smell it. Yeah. Very yeah. strong rating. You want to do it? You come in the morning? No, I'm not tired. I just don't want to fog really? at all. <laughs> <laughs> you start to get a little woozy yeah. just being in here. Exactly. We'll wipe it off. Wow. Yeah. So the grape, they kind of change color when all the skins are gone. Is that what you're trying to say? What yeah. So the, the skins, the, the wine gets its color from the skins. So that's why we push it down into the into the solution so that it can release the color oh. into the wine. Also helps to place the carbon dioxide to get it out so you can put the tear to make it more out of it. Oh, okay. So that's, that's what will push it up is it releases that CO2 and that's what raises so the, the cap. Uh, the, okay. the bubbles are the uh, carbon dioxide coming up? Yeah. Fermentation is really kind of tailing out at this point. But like two or three days ago, I mean, it, it, it really bubbled. Well. How are you? Are you Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to pump as much free flow wine directly out of this fermentation vat into your barrel as possible. Your barrel is the one with the hose going into it. You can check the tape on the end of it just to make sure. I'm going to put this second piece of tape on there. Double Ursula right there. There you are. Tipsy Totes. That's it. Tipsy Totes. So the first step works really well with, with uh, four volunteers. Yeah, All right. got four volunteers right what there. Do you know? So what we're going to do is we're going to use these strainer baskets and we're going to push them down into the wine. So I need one more person to peek over here. First the one, or uh, yeah, why don't you come over here? Okay, this one do. Yeah, James, come around just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to push them down. We just don't want to let the, the skins come over the top. Okay? And then Ursula. pump on but you're gonna suck suck this down until this basket is dry. And then, I just and then you move it to the next basket. Once she moves it to the next basket you're gonna lift your basket up, move it over and push it back down again. Okay? We're gonna do this as much as we can until it gets too thick. Then we're gonna scoop it out into the press and we're gonna press the rest of it out. So here we go. Gonna take a up second up the way, Yeah, 
We don't see it going through that. Look it over. You can kind of look on the edge and kind of start to scale a little. Oh yeah, look at it. It's going down a lot. Look how fast it's going. It's cool. Oh yeah. I was I was looking in the bucket. It looks like a delicious uh, cranberries. It does. <laughs> yeah, it does. It yeah. kind of makes you want to put on your hip waders to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> hip waders up and just dive in first. There you go. So, so back in the day, it's when they would go barefoot. And they used to stop the that's how that was. Feet, yeah. They would do that. It would have been last week. Yeah, because yeah, they had that. that would be that. That. That's what they're doing over there. So. Oh, look how fast it's going. Gosh, you guys sped up that process. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's a little more sanitized. <laughs> Oh, that famous movie? Oh, yeah. Two ladies. Uh, Lucille Ball. Yeah. yeah, I love Lucille. I love that. Oh, yeah, she was always nuts. Ursula, you're doing a great job. I know, yeah. I just want to say that. You're doing a great job, too. Thank you. Oh, you can't. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 
If you push any more, we got a bigger problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our shoes don't look good. <laughs> I was like, you can't get down no more. <laughs> Because you sucked up so much juice, it's not filling up. Sure. It's free flow. Yeah. So, there are a lot of uh, a lot of skins in here then. Wow. With 756 pounds of grapes, you okay. get the juice out, that's what's left over. Yeah. <laughs> 700. Yeah. 700 pounds, huh? Yeah. So, 756. 56 pounds. 756. 756, yeah. Put your finger in there. Right. Sorry. <laughs> So James, pull these out and then move over about 12 inches and see how hard it is. We don't want to crush the basket, but let's see if we can get it. Wow, that's going to be pretty compact. Yeah. That's actually really good. Try going over there. See if you can get it to go. Don't push too hard, but if it goes down. Oh, no, no. You know, I just go right back in the same hole. It looks like it's a different color on the bottom. That looks like it has a lot of sediment, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, the skins in there. Really. No, that, you mean there? Yeah. No, we can't look at that look look little. Getting the breakdown of material. Yeah. So in February when you rack it, that's when we get that sediment out of it at that okay. point. Yeah. We'll let it set in there. And that'll actually add some flavor to the wine as well, the tannins from the skins. Oh, okay. That's where you get the... Uh, <laughs> the, uh, all the other flavors like raspberries and, uh, and whatever else is do the whole process. Not, not yeah. Here. yeah. Uh, I read that uh, wine connoisseur, whatever he is, yeah. in the paper. Do you read that too? I used to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I can't get where he, he's got a sensitive taste or something and then his smell, the way he describes everything. <laughs> Whatever you get is the right answer. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> it's more important because you're the one drinking. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna call that good. I'll take this. four volunteers again we need two scoopers and two dumpers usually the dumping is the dirtiest but usually the taller people are better at scooping that makes sense so you can stand right here so, so you can scoop and hand it to her okay. they've got aprons on that's fine you might get some <laughs> it on it. it's gonna splash a little bit that's okay <laughs> Oh yeah, I'll give it to you. That makes more sense. There you go. <laughs> this is a bucket for Now you're getting it. See? <laughs> Wow. 
lot of grapes, Ken. It's a lot of grapes. Yeah. You see that? Well, that let's come out. I mean, that'll uh, sort out. Yeah, I'm making a mess over here. It's okay. Keeps it more fun. Luckily, they are too. If I was the only one, I really feel bad. How much do we get out of this one? Well, this is going to fill up your barrel. Your barrel's not filled yet. Ah. Now we're going to squeeze the rest of it out. Yeah. Ah. So you can see, it's already keeps coming out. Yeah, I'll just put it a little bit. It's called the free press. Huh? Yeah, you're not. Yeah, anyway. we'll take a taste in a little bit. Right. Right. It's coming down now, they call that free press. Head. Now we actually have hydraulics, so it hasn't it hasn't improved a little bit, but it is still a very very simple process. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Wow. 
It's a lot of wine there, huh? Okay, so now I need two volunteers. I need someone to actually run the pump. Oh, and then we're also going to need someone to man the barrel. Oh. So maybe who wants to stand on the ladder? Stick their finger in the hole. Who wants to stick okay. their finger in the bung hole? <laughs> Where's your camera? I gotta do this. Okay. Cool. This is where I introduce myself to you. My name is Mike. Okay. And your name is? Ursula. So <laughs> what we're gonna do is you and I are gonna work together to not overflow this barrel. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna put your finger in the bung hole. And you're gonna put it all the way in there. And then when you feel that wine hit your finger, you're gonna holler at me and I'm gonna turn off the pump. You have to holler, holler. So sometimes it helps if you hold this, it might pinch your finger. There'll be times that I'm gonna tell you you can take a break, but then when it's work time, it's work time. So, I'm gonna start running the pump because we're collecting wine right here. And we're gonna start filling that barrel up. Now, we need someone to run the press. So we're just gonna go slow and steady. And it's just gonna start out a little slow, but then it'll be, you'll, you'll start to build some pressure. Okay, How are we doing, Ursula? Can you still feel your pressure? Is it numb yet? <laughs> Wiggle it around. This wine just came off of the skins. It should be bitter right now. Get one for Ursula. Okay. Oh, that's right. We'll save you one. It's got a little bite to it, obviously. It's just coming off of the skin, so that bitterness will mellow out a little bit. Um, but actually, overall, it's pretty yummy. I didn't know if he could do two things at once. Multitasking. He's proving He's proven himself. <laughs> All right, so who wants, you want to pump some? He's filmed many times under the uh, influence of alcohol. Okay, Ursula, time to get back to work. 
Here, I'll put this on there for you. Oh. You can step back a little bit too, that way you won't. That way you won't when it starts to spread out. <laughs> it's way more fun pumping to get the wine out of it. Okay, it happens fast. Wiggle it around. You got a little in there? Good workout. That was a yell? Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't hear it. <laughs> okay. Now put your finger back in there. Can you still feel it? Okay. We're getting close. So that means we're getting close. Feel it? Okay. Still? A little bit. Can you still feel it? Okay, good. Good job. You're good. Okay. You can hold right there, Sonia. Okay. Good job. So, your barrel is almost full. There's a reason we don't fill it any fuller than it is right now at this point in time. And the reason is, is because there's still a little bit of fermentation taking place. Okay? 98. 95, 98% of the fermentation is completed, but there still is some that's taking place, so it's still producing CO2. So we leave a little bit of room for expansion in the barrel. We'll probably have about an inch or an inch and a half in there. Um, and then, so you say, well, look, we have a whole bunch of wine left. What are we going to do with that? Well, what we do is we're going to collect this wine and we're going to use it for topping off throughout the rest of the year. So we call it top off wine. We put it in a stainless steel tank at the end. At the end of the day, we pump it into a barrel. It's, it's treated just like your wine is. It's barrel aged just like your wine. It goes through malolactic fermentation just like your wine. It's just a blend of all the wines that are be pressed today. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to move the hose down into move it down into the stainless in just a second. So that a little bit? Yeah. Just have a really long finger. We're going to finish pressing this out. So we're going to go until we start getting up around 150 PSI. It is. How are you doing? You want to pump water for a while? Yeah. It's <laughs> awesome. It's cool. Very cool. Do you have your phone ready? Like, ready to grab it? We'll do it right at the end. Yeah, oh, it's oh, wow, look at all of them. Yeah, it's so fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's good. I'm like, no, it's 
left of 756 pounds of grapes. So you can come on up and feel it. It's pretty compact. Yeah. All right. Relatively dry and compressed. So what we do is we call this cutting the cake. So what we're going to try to do is get as much of it as possible into these bins and keep as much as possible off of the floor. Okay. So but uh, it's okay, I know the guy that cleans it up, he's a pretty good guy. His name's Chris. <laughs> so here's what we do. It works well. You just kind of, it's pretty compact, so you gotta kind of cut through it. Just kind of cut it like a pie. There's the delay, <laughs> not the way. I got some. And then just scoop it on in. 
So, just watch your head on that handle, James. And I'll put this in your Press it up. You'd like to get in? <laughs> okay. Get in there. Oh. Sorry. No, no, that's okay. That's a sign of your good work. Oh, you mean because you got it on the floor? Yeah. yeah. What did you think I meant? Because I want to take credit for that. For making all that noise over there. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, the mess part. Oh. That was Ursula. That was <laughs> it's all right. It's gonna happen 199 more times. Jeez. It's all called manual labor, right? It's amazing to see some whole grapes though. They look whole, but they're really there's no juice in them. Oh really? It's so the blood plants don't want this anymore, huh? Huh? Blood plants don't want to take this anymore? Uh, so now we take this to uh, just a local composting uh, company called A1 Organics. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. We did used to take it up to the uh, to the hog farm. But we haven't done that for a few years now. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> what was the reason for the switch? Uh, more just logistics and ease. Okay. Um, there is a, there's, I guess there's a gentleman out in Armagosa who raises ostriches. He's interested in coming and getting some of them. Oh, that'd be good. Ostriches, ostriches. Huh? Yeah, he said they eat anything. <laughs> yeah. And it's okay with the um, fermentation yeah, yeast yeah. stuff? Yeah, yeah. Looks like they just have the ostriches. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that. Right. It's called a bung. Oh, bung. Bung. B-U-N-G. Um, but this is a special bung. This is a fermentation bung. If you'll notice, it has a hole in it, and there's a little flap on the top. Okay? That's a little check valve. So what, when I was talking earlier that the fermentation is almost complete, but there's still some going on. So this allows the gas to escape, but keeps the air out. So, um, who wants to put the bung in the bung hole? Seems like it's only fitting. The one who assaulted the barrel. That's right. Let's give it a couple smacks. There you go. Okay. That's it. That's it. Wow. So uh, give yourselves a hand. You did a wonderful job. Thank you for all your help. You're very welcome. Yeah, so um, now that the wine's in the barrel, it's going to just rest for a little while, about three to four, about four months. Um, the next time you come back, you'll come back to a process called racking. And so as those grape skins break down and release their color and their tannin into the wine, it leaves behind sediment. So we're just going to let gravity take its course. That sediment's going to fall down to the bottom of the barrel. Um, we're going to pick the wine out of the barrel and remove all of that sediment. So that will be happening in, March, or in February. So we'll give you a call. You guys get scheduled, and uh, that'll be the next step. So thank you. Thank you. Awesome. All right, go well, yeah. enjoy yourselves. Okay. Okay. All right, so. See, I wanted my wine to say Thank you for watching our process number two in our wine making. Uh, if you like this, please give us a thumbs up, leave comments below, and don't forget about our contest. Uh, full details are available on our website, tipsytotes.com. And we'll be back in February to finish up the process and hopefully taste our wine.